everyone welcome back it's been a long time it has been a very very long time and i can only apologize guys life has just been hectic for those of you who know you know that life has just been really really busy for me i've been away a couple of times and yeah just things just haven't really gone the way that i've expected them to go um which is fine but it also means that i have to put certain things on a back seat whilst i just get myself together and youtube was one of those things that i had to just put away for a little bit whilst i just gather my thoughts and just get things done i'm starting to get into a into like a little routine i've got things going in the way that i want to get them going and so i feel that i've got a little bit more time to pay attention to things that i really really enjoy so as a result i am back and i'm back this time with a 10 minute makeup video this is something that you can do when you've got no time you need to get out of the door but you still want to look like you're somebody you rush home, your clothes ain't ironed, you don't know what you're gonna wear, you don't know how you're gonna do your hair, so you don't even think that you got time to do makeup. This is that kind of makeup. Take out a lip gloss, take out a little blush, a little highlighter. You don't need to have a bunch of stuff in your makeup collection in order to make this work. You just need your favourites. For those of you that want to see how I got this together, <laughs> then you know, keep on watching, baby. As for this little top, this little thing I got on here. <laughs> this little oh, this little thing. <laughs> this little thing. No, seriously, it's from Pretty Little Thing. It was cheap. It was like seven pound in the sale. This is cute, and I'm just waiting for someone to ask me whether I want to go somewhere so that I can wear it. So, friends, you might want to start inviting me places. Okay, that that's <laughs> that's for just you know you guys. If you you feel like you want to ask me to go somewhere, you know. I, I am here, love you all, you know, I am lonely, oh god fluff, I, I like to go places too, you know guys, so if you want to invite me somewhere then don't all rush at once, you know, don't all bombard me or anything, just ask me, you know, and I, I might say yes, who knows, <laughs> anyway, guys, right, so let's get started, so first of all I'm going to start with priming my face, I've already creamed my face, I've already washed it, so I'm just going to put some primer on. Today the primer I'm going to use is NYX Angel Veil, it's their Skin Perfecting Primer. So I'm just going to take this and just put this, the parts of my face that get the most oily. That's my nose. <laughs> it's all of my face really because I've got real life oily skin, not that fake YouTube oily skin where they just get a little bit dewy and they look a little bit cute. <laughs> no honey. If I'm honest with you, primers don't really work for me. I'm yet to find a primer that does the job but because of that I just flip between whatever I fancy. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyebrows. Now my because my skin's oily whatever I put down is going to move if I don't put something there to hold it just that little bit longer so I like to use Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion in the original formula original color whatever that means and I just put that on my eyebrows when I'm in a rush I don't necessarily like that be 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 look because you need time to be able to complete that and finish it nicely so there's no point i like to mix foundations for a number of reasons sometimes because i like the finish of one and the coverage of another and sometimes because i just can't find a color that matches me perfectly i don't mind colors being a little bit off sometimes because when you highlight and contour and all that malarkey normally it's not a problem and you can fix it as long as the undertone's okay but when i'm doing 10 minute makeup i ain't got time to work out undertones and to make sure that this matches that so i just mix two foundations that i know work well together in my case, the Ordinary and Maybelline Fit Me, I think it's Matte Poreless Finish. Yeah, the Matte Poreless Finish. I mix those two together and it kind of balances out the colour a little bit and also gives me the finish that I like. So I shake them off, mix a little bit of both on the back of my hand and I am good to go. Now they're not too far away in colour if we're honest, which is a plus. So now I like to get a dense fluffy brush and just blend that all in. So 
what I like to do now is a little bit of concealing and highlighting. I don't do too much of this either because again we don't have that much time and I don't really like to do too much when I'm not going anywhere that requires it. In order to highlight I use LA Girls Pro Conceal in the colour Chestnut and I just put a tiny bit under my eyes, a little bit on my chin and the smallest bit down the bridge of my nose. my Real Technique sponge and blend that all out. Now that I've put my concealer down, I like to set that using Sasha's Buttercup setting powder. I use the smallest amount of this because a little does go a long way and I don't want to look cakey. to set the rest of my face using the Bare Minerals powder foundation with matte finish. Take your favourite fluffy brush to do this. Now that my face is almost done I need to go to my eyebrows. Now, the first thing that I do is I get a spoolie and just brush through my brows and make sure that they're all facing the right way. I then like to take a brow pencil and fill them in ever so gently. Today I'm going to be using NYX Micro Pencil in the Colette Espresso. I then move on to my lashes. As you can see at the moment, I've got individual lashes on. Individual lashes are brilliant in the summertime when you really don't want to do that much with your makeup, but you still want to stand out. So what I normally do is brush through my lashes, but this would be the time that you put your mascara on. Now it's time to bronze up my face and just make sure that I don't look like a pancake. So the first thing that I do is I bronze my nose and I use a nice dense and fluffy brush that's got a small tip. That means that I can get right into the corners. This just adds dimension to my face and just make sure that I don't look too flat. I then use the same powder and I go around the edges of my face. Once I've bronzed, I use a tiny bit of contouring powder out of the Sleep Face Form Kit in Medium. This just further cuts out my cheekbones a tiny bit just to again make sure that my face doesn't get too flat. 
Now, I don't use blush very often when I do these quick makeup looks, simply because I don't have the time and I don't have that many blushes to begin with, so there's no point faffing around. However, I do like to highlight every now and then. I don't go too crazy because my skin's already oily and I can look like an oil slick at the end of the day. Nobody ain't got time. So what I do like to do is I like to take my sleek face form kit again in the colour medium and there's a shade at the end which is quite bronzy. It's not too gold, it's actually, it's more, it's more coppery bronze and I like to use that color on the high points of my cheeks just here and here the smallest part and all that does is just give me a little bit of glow before I get too shiny take your favorite brush to apply highlighter and just apply wherever you like I know a lot of people's favorite part is highlighting. My favorite part is lips. I love lips. I don't know why, I just feel like they, some people think that lashes set off the look, which they do, but for me, if I don't have something on my lips, my face isn't finished as far as I'm concerned. So, when I'm doing a quick, 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 quick look, um, it's nothing too too out there and exciting. Brown liner and one of my favourite lip glosses and I'm good to go. So this time round, I'm going to use a mix of brown and rich brown by Slee. They're ever so slightly different in colour. Rich brown is a little bit more red. So I like to put brown down first and then I put rich brown on top of that. Silly me, just put rich brown down first, whatever. Today I'm going to use NYX Butter Glosses in the colours Madeline and Tiramisu. I'm going to put Tiramisu down first. To set my face, I'm using NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. So I'm just going to get changed and then I'll show you the finish look. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed watching me put together this 10 minute makeup look. You don't need a bunch of things to make this makeup look work. You just need some favourites that you really, really know how to use. That's what it's about. Getting your makeup done quickly. It's not really about only using three things. It's just using things that you know exactly what they're going to do. You know exactly how they're going to sit on your face and you know exactly how to work them. There's no point coming with your six step highlighting kit and you don't know how to get the highlighting kit out. It's about working smart. If, it, if it's your first time here on my channel, then you are more than welcome to subscribe. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, at Celeste underscore, you will have seen the quiz that I done a little while ago, just asking people what they wanted to see from me. This 10 minute makeup look was one of the options. I also did the option of an eyebrow tutorial. I also did an up to date glam um, makeup look. Those are coming because people did say they wanted to see those but it was the 10 minute makeup look that one i've also got hair tutorials coming so for those of you who know me and have been here for a while i apologize and i will see you all soon for everybody that's been asking me where i am actually for everybody that's been asking and saying you ain't uploaded anything in a while Thank you so much for reminding me that there's still space for me guys because there was a point when things were getting a bit hectic elsewhere there was a point when I was kind of thinking you know what I'm just gonna sack it off I'm not gonna bother but your girl ain't going nowhere. I just want to really thank you for watching I really want to thank you for encouraging me for those of you that are gonna like this video thank you for those of you that are gonna share it thank you as well I love you all and I hope that you have a blessed rest of the week bye guys and thank you for watching Mwah!